The third time's a charm, but for only one team. Dick and I'll find out which team continues on their quest for a championship after today's third round game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Texas Longhorns. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Longhorns should be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, get a hand up in the face of all the outside shooters. Second, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. And finally, make sure you eat up the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. City that will always really negate any offense. Easy one. My goodness, Mr. Nestler, that was phenomenal, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They go into the low block. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Put it one on one and how to explode to the goal. Foul charge. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Bowen receives the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. That's good. The replay reveals the deal, baby. is picked off showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup he goes for three great execution that's offensive efficiency at its best the ball goes out of play Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Tanner is feeling great out there right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Woodson handles the pass. Texas have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Shoots from outside. Scorches the net. Oh, I love this guy. I love him. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. At some point, his team is going to have to step up and play at his level. He's carrying them right now. They work it around the perimeter. He pulls the trigger. He shows the sweet touch. Looking for a good shot. Waters receives the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them, the witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. He goes with a baby hook and in and out. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Trying to feed the low block. Thinks about the shot. There's the trap. He looks for three. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. The defender is still applying great blood pressure, Brad. Great play to take that to the basket. Going the other way. That's 
that's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Gonna eliminate those turnovers. What a great strip. Tries for two. Dick, you think they're gonna stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He wants a three. Makes the shot. That's nine unanswered. They work it around the perimeter. Goodman handles the feed. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Both teams looking to get things going here. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. Now they work it around the perimeter. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Down inside. Looking for contact. Makes it. the shot fake tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move for the bucket i tell you a terrific shot really impossible to get a piece of that baby for two perfectly executed <laughs> moving it around the perimeter They work it around the perimeter from beyond the arc. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Cue up the replay, fellas. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Goodman pump fakes. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I 
Conte, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From left of the circle, he knocks down another bucket. Down. This kid's got skills, Brad. On the outside, tries a three. Way off target. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. I celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. The Longhorns are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. Concentration. Got to concentrate. Way Rick short. City. Second one is no good. Misses them all. He takes the rebound. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Unloads. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice shot. Pump fakes. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Goes. This is great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. There's a double team waiting there. Side jumper. He nails the shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. He launches a three. Tickles a twine. They work it back to the outside. Good job defensively. Here they go, into the break. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. Ah, oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with his deck. Where's he going? Looking for a good shot. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Up and inside. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. I'm standing by the losing team's bench, and their coaching staff is reminding them, it's just your nerves. Relax. Once you've settled in, you'll come back. High post flashes for the ball handler. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. With the pair. He hits the first.
Makes those free throws count. Wants to go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Hickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Picked off, pushes it up. Post turnaround jumper. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. Brad, he's on fire. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Cone makes a great move to draw the foul. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Gets two at the charity strike. Whoa, screener caught one of the chops off the pick. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They work it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. Stolen away. Kicks it out. Takes the shot. Off the rim and no good. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Sinks it. That one's definitely worth the second look, Brad. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Basket and the foul! Big time opportunity for the senior leader, baby. And now he's got a little something for the crowd. They're not going to like this. They're going to be offended. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. He goes to the free throw line. He can't buy one. Strong rebound and now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Men have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Gave it up. Ooh, look at the shot block. But he got some contact. Nice hops. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He shoots from the top of the key. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Puts it up, looking for contact. Drains it. Wait, wait. 
There's the trap. Great play to take that to the basket. He blocks the shot. On the outside. Intercepted. Dump it inside. Picked out of the air. There should be an easy bucket here. For two. Perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Stolen away. Applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. If you're going for the steal, you better get it. If not, this is exactly what happens. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribble in act here and turns it over. with that when you front if you don't get some backside help you're in trouble well you got to get help because you got to see ball man that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting there they come with a double team to stop it high post screen so effective that screen mississippi state are on a nice little run at the moment hey that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout Great play to take that to the basket. Hey, one basket, Brad. If they can get some points here, the crowd will be extremely happy. Steals a pass. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Taken away. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They'll work it around the arc. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Shot clock is dead. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He rejects it. The ball goes out of bounds. the three ball way off target at the end of the first half the Longhorns are up by one well it's been a close one so far Dick Vitale what's your take on the play of the half there was some nice inside play in the first half we'll have to see which team continues to pound the ball inside in the second half all right Dick let's get back to the action as the two teams are just about ready to start the second half Texas is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the lock. Patience and poise usually equals points. 
Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. He shoots from long range. It's good. Dumps it in. Takes it off him. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? the bucket. Bowen was a highly touted recruit, if my memory serves me correctly. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Nick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. For two. Up. Easy one. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Looking for a good shot. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They move it into the front court. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Very soft defensively. No pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. The shooting guard with the ball. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They run it up into transition. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The center takes the feed. Double team now, bad angle. Makes the shot. Look at that spacing. He tries the three ball. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Rims out. Goes up for two. 
Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For the bucket. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're anticipating, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He draws a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him. Blocks it. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. As the fans chant. It really is something, isn't it? Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He launches the bomb. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Looks at a three. Sinks the shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Gave it up. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? There's the trap. Too physical. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I tell you, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The Bulldogs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The shooting guard takes the pass. He gets the bucket to fall. Stolen. He brought the ball back down to the floor and stripped him. That's incredible. Move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Stolen ball. Jam City, baby. That's a rib rocker. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle. He gets it to fall. Let us show you the replay on that one. Unloads a three. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Hard foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, this is what people wanted. A close championship game. The action and intensity has really picked up down here on the sidelines, and everyone wants to see a great finish. Second one, good. Perimeter. Pull 
lob jumper from way out. Hinton rips the offensive board. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I thought doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He blocks the shot. There's a double team waiting there. That was nice. Gave it up. Jumps in. He drains the shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They're working around the perimeter. Here's a double team. In the paint. And they come with a double team to stop it. That's the weakest double team I've ever seen, Brad. They were a little bit too careful, I think, not to foul. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. The center gets the pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He intercepts it. This should be an easy two. Tries for two. Texas are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Gave it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. From the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Fakes it. Double team now, bad angle. He strips him clean. Fast break opportunity here. For the deuce. Number 32 with the fake. Woodson fouls out. He got the bucket and the foul. Hey, the foul in the act couldn't stop him, baby. He wanted that bucket. Number one sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. No doubt. it away. He's money with a shot. The Longhorns are down by four. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper with a layup. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Tanner goes to the line for the first time. 
makes the shot. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Tries for two. He's making just terrible choices shooting the ball. He's got to settle down, man. Settle that cat down. There's the trap. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with it and has it rejected. Defense with a great job with the block shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. West steps to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Makes the second. Buries it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He gets the shot to fall. That's a 7 nothing run. He attempts the three, makes it. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Hey, down the stretch, there are so many factors that could become the difference maker. Turnovers, missed free throws, rebounded. I wonder what it will come down to in this game. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He goes with a baby hook. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't... Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Strips the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Set that screen away. They work the perimeter. Side. On the dribble, gives it up, and he'll kick it back outside. They'll work it around the arc. Up fake. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Intercepted. Tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Oh, 
Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. Goes up for two. Jumped in front to take it away. Pushes it. Picks off the pass. For the bucket. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Time to pick up the defense here now. Take it away. And again, they look to run. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. In the paint. There's a double team waiting there. Gave it up. He shoots from downtown. Mississippi State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside. Jumps into the defender. Drops the bucket despite the harm. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked off. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. And timeout. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Takes the jumper. He misses the jumper. Gave it up. Got the shot if he wants it. That's been moves not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Now they're working around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Dick. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back to the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. With the freebie. Makes it. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Hits his second. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. back into action here. Five seconds to get it off. Puts it up. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. He is going to the line. Makes the front end of the one-and-one. One. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Second shot, good. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at a three. He gets it to go. It doesn't get any better unless you watch it again. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won or lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers miss opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. He goes for the trifecta. He gets the bucket. We get another look at it in the lane. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. It's the second shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Dick, I think the better team won, we can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you've got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night in April. Well, I'll tell you, they won this game, Brad, and we look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Bulldogs makes it three in a row with an impressive third-round victory. Hey, the way they're playing, Brad, this team is going to be hard to deal with entering the Elite Eight. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.